right, everything's all right. It's a little pony penny of mine. That sounds really good, Elvis. Elvis. Why are you playing, 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 playing? Well, I wasn't playing, 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 playing. I was playing, 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 ching. Well, I never heard a ching. Did you hear a ching, Sam? Uh, I'm not sure. Well, I'm surprised uh, you could hear anything over your dubba dubba boof boof. <gasps> dubba dubba boof boof. I have never played dubba dubba boof boof in my life. You have. You did just then, didn't he, Sam? Uh. I... And as uh, for your blam, blam, blibbity, blam... My blam, blam, blibbity, blam is my best beat, and it's way better than your doodly, doodly, diddly, dee. <laughs> uh, uh, Elvis, Mike, uh, listen, you two have got a show tonight. No, we haven't. <laughs> I'm not playing in a band with someone who doesn't like my doodly, doodly, diddly, dee. And I'm not playing with someone who doesn't like my blam, blam, blibbity, blam. But, Mike, but Elvis, you can't. We I... can from this day forward, the Elvis and Mike too are no more. I'm breaking up the band. No, you're not. Oh, thank goodness. I am. Elvis, maybe you should talk to Mike about this whole band thing. I've made up my mind, Sam. Mike will just have to carry on without me. But he can't. Without you, the band would just be... Mike playing the drums. That's not my problem. And anyway, I've got a new hobby now. Juggling. <laughs> I'm going to do it at the show tonight. I bought this book. It shows you exactly how to do it. Ooh, ha, ha, look. Tip, 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 tip. Oh, where's my cup of oh, oh, tea? I'm sure you can make things right with Elvis, Dad. Yes, come on, Mike. Sorry, Helen. It's time I moved on and started working on a new sound. Okay, who's up first? Hmm? My name's James Jones, and I'm from Ponty Pandy. Okay, James, take it away. <laughs> Elvis wouldn't have done it like that. Sorry, James. Next. <laughs> Elvis would never have done it like that. Next! Elvis wouldn't have done it like that! Norman? Pick that up! Uh, sorry, Mom. Oh. Hmm, this looks like fun. That's the bendy wire game, Uncle Sam. You have to move the hoop from one end of the wire to the other without touching it. Ah. <laughs> you touched the wire. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> oh. Wow. Not as easy as it looks. But Uncle Sam, what can I do while you're doing that? Ah. Uh, um. <coughs> I know, James. Why don't I give you the Fireman Sam challenge? The Fireman Sam challenge. Yes, you look around the house like you're a firefighter doing an inspection and check for anything you can do to make the house safer. Oh, great, Uncle Sam! <laughs> right, here we go. Ah! <laughs> right, kids, so that's how you weave your twigs together, eh? So, if you get started on your little animals, We'll get started on our big one. Uh... I'm going to make a turtle. What about you, Sarah? I'm going to make a squirrel. Sorry, need these. What? And these as well. But we haven't got any twigs now. They took our twigs, too. And mine. Four feet high and rising, mate. We'll soon have a bear much bigger than anything the wild men in Newtown could build. But we're gonna need more sticks. Come on, guys. We can all build it together. As long as we still get our bushcraft badge. Right, Pioneers. This is gonna be the tallest wicker bear in the world, eh? Hooray! If you can't beat them, join them. I suppose. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Uncle Sam! Uh, uh. I don't want 
thing we should do? We should check the batteries in the smoke alarm. Good idea, James. It's very important that the smoke alarm is working properly. Okay. Mm. Now. Uh, <sighs> ah! Well, what do you think? It's amazing. I'm quite impressed, actually. Great, eh? Big and wild. Wild enough for the wild, wild man of, of Ponty Penny. Penny. <laughs> we should get a photo. Woohoo! Sam, over here. Oh, I'm not supposed to do that, am I? No, no, you're not, Elvis. Oh. Penalty kick to Ponty Panda United. Get ready for the penalty kick of the century. Uh, oh, stop. Watch and learn from the professional. This is how to kick a penalty shot. Huh? Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. It's an own goal. Yes. Goal. Forget about the football, Norman. Just be careful with the... Food. Mamma mia! What have you done? Uh, I'm so sorry. I'll clean up this mess. You take the pepperoni pizza out of the oven and take it to Ben at the key. Okay, Bella. Uh, it's not fair. I'm missing the match, and all because of this silly pizza. <laughs> no, this is how you attack. And this is how you defend. Well, there's nothing for us to do here. We might as well all go home. And this is how you scissor kick. <laughs> oh, oh. Ooh, my back. Hmm. Pizza smells a bit smoky. A bit too smoky. <gasps> oh no! F help! Fire! Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh. 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 There is a hill fire in Ponty Pandy Park. There's a hill fire in Ponty Pandy Park. Fight the fire from the bottom of the hill. Elvis and Ellie, evacuate everyone from the stand. Careful, James! I'm trying to be careful! this one. You haven't managed to catch one yet, Norman. If I don't catch this one, you can have my best propeller hat. Okay. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I was supposed to catch that. It's normally me that does that. Oh, no. Mandy, throw them away. Oh, uh, I'll get Ben. You can't, Norman. Dad says he's on Potty Pandy Island. I'll call Uncle Sam. Phyllis Price is floating out to sea with Hannah and James and a giant birthday cake. 
Dillis is floating out to sea with Hannah and James on a giant birthday cake. Ah, Penny, you come with me to the Ocean Rescue Center. Elvis, you help Fire Captain Steel. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam! Dillis, I'll pick up James and Hannah. Roger that, Sam. Oh, my cake's got a soggy bottom. Leave the cake, Dillis, and grab hold of this. Get James first, Sam. I'm a much stronger swimmer. If you're sure, Hannah. I am. You're gonna get some dinner. <gasps> Please don't tell me that just happened. Oh. oh, it happened. I found a bone. Where's the fox? I opened the cage and it escaped. That was a silly thing to do. You said it was like a dog. Well, you shouldn't listen to me. Oh no. If we don't get that fox back in his cage before mom comes home, we'll be in big mom trouble. There's a good dog, Radar. I'm just gonna listen to your heart, Radar. Stay nice and calm. Sam, what's happening with Radar? Uh, Lizzie's giving him a checkup, Elvis. We're trying to keep him calm. Oh, right. Come on, Radar, stay calm. You can do it, boy. Maybe it's Elvis who needs to stay calm. I'll just have a look in his ears. Oh, the big brave dog is going to get his ears checked. Stay still now, boy. Can you do that? Can you? Elvis, uh, would you like to help with Radar's checkup? Of course I'll help, Sam. I do anything to help Radar. Then maybe you could wait outside while Lizzie looks him over? Oh, uh, all right, Sam. Uh, but Penny, are you sure you'll manage without me? We'll manage, Elvis. Here, Foxy, Foxy, Foxy. Foxy! Oh. What if we do find him, Norman? How will we get him back? Easy. I'll scare him back with this pot and spoon, like this. Norman, stop! You'll scare him even further away. No, I won't. Ooh, look, there he is. Uh, uh. <gasps> That's him! Oh no, he's taken off again! Where do you think he's going? I bet he's going home! Home? The cliffs! Where Mom found him! But the cliffs are miles away! It'll take us ages to get there! <laughs> no, it won't! Hello, Hannah! Hello, Norman! Um, we're looking for an injured fox, Trevor. And we really need a lift to the cliffs. The cliffs? Oh, I don't know, Hannah. That's not really on my route. Oh, please, Trevor. You'd be such a hero, just like Fireman Sam. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, a hero, eh? Hmm, yes. <laughs> How did you do that? That was amazing. Just keep an eye out for the fox. to get to the mountains now. It's too stormy for Tom's helicopter. I'm calling the station. There's only one thing strong enough to move this tree. Will anyone find us, Grandad? Don't 
worry, James. I'm sure we'll be rescued soon. Okay, Phoenix. You can do this. Easy does it. is ready to launch, Sam. And I'm ready to head into the mountains. Come in, Sam. Saturn has detected body heat just ahead of you. Over. Copy that, Elvis. <gasps> it's Uncle Sam! Come in, Elvis. I found them, and I'm bringing them down. Roger that, Sam. I'll bring Saturn back. because of my amplified advertising? No, we saw Mandy's posters. Ha! Uh, what time are they due back, Sam? Should be quite soon, Joe. I'll see if Penny's got a visual. Any sign, Penny? People are arriving to welcome them back. Still nothing, Sam. I hope they're not in any trouble. Good girl. A flare! It must be Ben and Hannah. They are in trouble. An emergency flare has been fired from Ponty Pandy Island. An emergency flare has been fired from Ponty Pandy Island. Penny, get Neptune ready. Elvis is on his way. Searching the island. But we're over here. Anything? Nothing, Penny. Sam, they're not on the island. They can't be far. You keep looking there, I'll go north. Yay! Over here! You don't think we're stuck out here, do you? No way. Not with Sam and the team looking for us. They'll find us. Told you. It's Ben and Hannah. I found them. We're on our way. It's my fault, Sam. I should have stopped when I felt my shoulder go. Well, we all push beyond our limits sometimes, Ben. Lucky you had Hannah with you. You okay, Hannah? Uh, I didn't finish. 
is heading into the mountains with no driver. And is on fire. And is on fire? And is on fire. Copy that, Fire Captain Steele. Sir, might I suggest sending Penny, Elvis, and Ben upriver in Titan, just in case we need backup. Good idea, Sam. Norma? So it's so from outer space. Oh, yeah? Which part of space? Um, planet at Bandy Pond. Wow! Do you have sponge cake there? Of course not, because it doesn't exist! Don't believe me, huh? Then feel the force of Normaxo's cosmic freeze ray! <laughs> <laughs> Wait! There's no one driving the train! And it's on fire! We're going to be okay. There's no need to panic, everyone. Move to the back of the train and stay calm. Look out, Sam! Um, I'll get out your side, Sam. Penny, time for plan B. Roger that, Sam. Look out for the ice! Sam, Titan can't get past the ice! Roger that, Penny. Tom, are you there? We're going to need Wallaby One. On the line. I don't like out of control trains that are on fire! Do something, Normaxo! Okay, um. Normax, so we'll phone mom. I'll call my alien buddies to fly in and rescue us on our interstellar communication device. That's your shoe, Norman? Norman, this isn't the time to. Shh, I'm on a call. The ocean rescue uniforms are lined for warmth in water and brightly colored so you can be easily seen. And they have a whistle. I love that whistle. Oh, Sam, just in time. Oh, thanks, Penny. So, let's see how fast you can all change. And go! Good time, everyone. Now, take those off and we'll get back to the station and see how fast you can change into the animal rescue uniforms. Great. Hey. You all right, Elvis? Oh, yes, I'm fine. You go on. I can catch up. <laughs> and Jesus. Oh. So, we're going to have to work very, very hard. We're going to bake all the extra pizzas that Granddad needs. Sarah! Oh, Sarah, can you stop playing Ninja Carrot and start making pizzas? <laughs> Sorry, James. Yes, James? It's yes, Chef. <gasps> Hello, James. Just checking that everything is going okay uh, with the pizzas. Everything's fine, Granddad. They'll all be ready in time. Uh, James, we still need to cook them. And there's not much room in that oven. Ah, we've got another oven upstairs. Sarah, take those pizzas up and put them in as quick as you can. Oh, that's it. We can't fit any more pizzas. 
pizzas in this oven. I've put as many as I can in the upstairs oven, James. Uh, I mean, Chef. But there are still loads left. <gasps> There's an oven at my house. Perfect. So you take the rest and put them in your oven, Hannah. Go, go, go. Um, yes, Chef. <laughs> Uh, uh, very good, yes. Oh, uh, Redlington, you appear to be wearing an ocean rescue uniform. I am. I can't get out. Ooh, stay right there. I might just have the very thing. The animal rescue uniforms are a softer color so as not to scare the animals. And they are made from a material that is very easy to move around in. So, let's see how fast you can change into these. Crippington, get the animal rescue uniform on. Oh. 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 I thought we were here to catch a sheep, not a fireman. <laughs> Why are we going this way, Norman? So we can beat Sarah and James. Now all we have to do is how did they get there? We need to get ahead of them, quick. Norman, it's really dangerous to run down a steep hill. It's fine. Don't be such a babe. Great shortcut, hey, Mandy? If you like skin knees and mud all over your bottom. Huh? How is he doing this? Shh. Norman, you'll frighten the horse. A horse? Oh. Come on then, Wooly. There you go. Mm, gotcha. Well done, Sam. It wasn't just me, Lizzie. We're a team. Well, I didn't really do anything. You did? I did? Yes. You did a great big belly flop into the mattress. <laughs> mm. Come on, Mandy. We can ride the horse to Ponty Pandy Point. We'll easily beat James then. But I can't ride a horse. Neither can I. But how hard can it be? It doesn't even have a saddle. Riding a horse is easy, Mandy. You just have to get on and say, giddy up. I've seen it on TV. Ugh, there is no way I'm getting on that horse. It's dangerous. There is nothing dangerous about being on this horse. Ah! Ah! Well, it looks pretty dangerous to me. going to win! Ah, wait! Where are you going, Horsey? Horsey! Ah, oh. <laughs> oh. 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 oh no! The horse is stuck in the mud! Call Fireman Sam, Sarah. I'll estimate her position using my map. Price. Sounds like she's a long way down. Call Fireman Sam. Mandy Flood is trapped in the caves. Looks like we're heading back to the mountain, Sam. Let's take Hydrus. What happened? 
happened? We just heard a scream. Don't worry, I know these caves. <gasps> Careful, Sam. This tunnel sometimes floods. It's really dangerous. Help! Help! Don't worry, Mandy. I'm coming down. Are you okay, Mandy? Here's some water. Oh, thanks, Penny. I slipped, but I think I'm okay. You're a long way down. What do you think, Penny? I can't carry her up. There's no room for us both to fit. We've got to find another way. Oh. Oh. oh, what's that noise? What's going on down there? I can hear Fire Captain Steel working on the handcart. Hmm. Ah! She'll be growing batty wings by now and hanging upside down. Poor Mandy Bat. Moose, is there a map of the caves? Yeah, right here. in my room isn't quite as much fun as I thought it would be. You think? Your room is totally wrecked and stinks of fish. Maybe you need to get him into some water. The Ponzi Pandy pool is nearby. Huh, we could take him there. Now! How are we going to get him into the swimming pool without anybody seeing him? What am I going to do with all these boxes? I think it might be better if you filled out the hydrant forms this time. Okay, Sam. That way, I won't think about that poor, lost, little, waddly penguin. Pressure at 1.7 bar, Elvis. That's all you need to put down, Elvis. 1.7. Elvis, uh. what are you doing? Oh, uh, I thought I'd do a missing poster of the penguin, in case anyone sees him. Hmm, I'm thinking I'll just remember the 1.7 thing, Sam. Probably a good idea, Penny. <laughs> now then, Mr. Penguin, time for you to get out and enjoy sausages. <gasps> uh -huh. Sausages? There are sausages in this box! <gasps> we took the wrong box! So where is Mr. Penguin? So what's it to be? Rainy day in Rio? Mm. Or ocean breeze over Canada. <laughs> oh, I'll use them both. I'll just unpack that box, then I can go and stuff Trevor's peppers. <laughs> I wonder what's in this one. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh! oh no! My scented candles! Oh no! Fire! Oh! <gasps> the door's blocked! Too many boxes! I'll need to go upstairs. Oh, dear. I've never carried a penguin upstairs before. But I suppose there's a first time for everything. Ah! Ooh! Ooh! Ah! I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. Oh, why did I say yes? Uh, she'll only do those stuffed peppers again. <laughs> Norman, what's this? Did your mom finally let you get a dog? No, this is Auntie Phyllis's dog. But if I can show my mom how good I am at looking after it, she might let me get my own dog. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Already for a walk by the river? Oh, 
yes, I have my day trip bag, my handbag, and a bag from Phyllis filled with doggy supplies. <sighs> okay, we're back. Now watch this. Jump in. <laughs> Jump in. <laughs> in. Norman, when you're telling the dog what to do, you should use her name. So you say, jump in! Uh... Lady Pufflepuff. What's that? Lady Pufflepuff. Norman, I can't hear you. What's the dog's name? It's Lady Pufflepuff! Aw, oh, Mom, what did you say that for? <laughs> that name is so embarrassing! <laughs> Okay, I set up the new desk. Are you sure it's the one you want? It, it's very... Oh, Mike Flood here. Oh, hello, Charlie. A licky sump pump. Say no more, Charlie boy. I'm on my way. What? <laughs> Morning. What's going on here? Fire Captain Steele has gone to Newtown. He's left me in charge of sorting out his new desk. <gasps> uh, Penny, have you actually seen Fire Captain Steele's new desk? No, why? <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> it's really not. Oh, so you're having a picnic, huh? Uh, uh, quick, look! Uh, what's Norman doing? <laughs> Please do as your... then. Who's next? Uh, it's me! me it's me me, me! me! Oh, me please! Okay. Room for two more? Oh. Move along now, please. Nothing to see here. <laughs> hey, Joe! Lizzie! Come and have a look at this! Ah. Uh. Uh. Whoops. Oh. You stay there. Gently does it. Everything all right, sir? Uh, oh, what do you think, Redlington? Whoa! <laughs> oh, no! Fireworks! There's a fire in the tent where they're keeping the fireworks. Those things could go up like a rocket. There's a fire in the tent where they're keeping the fireworks. We need you back here now, Sam. Roger that, sir. Go off at any moment. Mike, what have you done? Oh, I know. Ooh. Penny, you keep the fireworks boxes hosed down. Yeah. I'll tackle the rest of the fire. Looks like this tatty old board was the cause of the fire. That was my masterpiece. I'm thinking that might have had something to do with the fire. I'm sorry. I was trying to dry the paint quickly with my heater. Well, you need to be much more careful about where you set up your heater, Mike. Especially around fireworks. Sorry, Sam. Are the fireworks okay? Well, these ones are a bit soggy. But I'm sure we can get some more in time for tonight's display. It took me ages to paint that board. Don't worry, love. Why don't you just go get the one from last year? It's 
all right, James. Nearly there. Ah, gotcha. Thanks, Sam. Here's two free tickets to the premiere of my new spy movie. It will have the most spectacular stunts ever! It sounds great, Norman. Just make sure the stunts aren't too dangerous, okay? Yes, Sam. Faster! Faster! Oh, this car chase scene looks incredible! Are you getting all this, Sarah? Yes, Norman! Aim for that wall of empty boxes, James! This is the bit where you have a spectacular crush! I can't do it! It's okay, James. I'll call Fireman Sam. This McChin fellow is top notch. <laughs> ah, reminds me of a young me. That's James in a runaway go-kart heading for the pier. James Jones is in a runaway go-kart heading towards the pier. That's what I said. I'll be doing all the stunts myself. Perhaps these stunts are getting a bit too spectacular, Norman? I'm sorry, Sam, but don't worry. We've only got one more scene to shoot, and it doesn't involve any danger. I promise. Okay, Norman. Well, good luck. Jake Pond, Super Spy, scene 57. Showdown in the villain's lair. Action! Ah, Mr. Pond, I've been expecting you. Glove fingers, my old foe. <gasps> it's a trap. Number two, tie up the prisoner. And cut. Tie up the stunt double. I don't like movie making. Or being tied to a chair. Stop mm. complaining, James. All you have to do is direct a beam of sunlight through this magnifying glass and burn through the rope like this. Fire crew, today's exercise will require courage, sacrifice, and a healthy coat of paint. Wow, your miniature model of Pony Panty looks amazing, sir. Very impressive. Indeed. But if I'm going to finish it before tonight's grand unveiling, I'll need your help and the assistance of a trusty professional builder. Oh. Unfortunately, he wasn't available, so my flood will have to do. Oh, is that supposed to be me? I don't always wear that awful green outfit, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and friends, welcome to the greatest show on earth. Brace yourselves for the breathtaking trapeze act. Ta da! Wee! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> trapeze act? Huh. That's just a tire swing strung up to the rafters. No, it's not. Ah! Oh, ah, 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 ah. Ah! The incredible plate spinning routine. Ta -da! Ah, oh, mm. oh, um. Are they meant to be falling and smashing? Norman, have you seen Aunt Phyllis's good china plate? Um, no, Mom. <laughs> what was that? Um. Act three, hilarious clowning. Ha, ha. I thought you said this show was going to be spectacular. It will be, I promise. Wait till you see my next act. Wild and exotic animal taming. Ooh. There. 
a miniature garden at my miniature cottage. <laughs> now, to glue on the flagpole. Oh, careful of the wet. Ah! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Paint. Ah, ah, my minivan. Ah! <laughs> Watch out! Ah! Uh, sorry, Fire Captain Steele. Great tangled hoses! My village! All right, team. Time to shape up and get serious. Yes, Fire Captain Steele! And now, live in the ring, before your very eyes, I will take. Oh, my floodlights! Off the ice, everyone! Ah, I can't! Ah, oh. Ah. 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 I'd better call Fireman Sam! Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink with a penguin. Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink. Uh, with a penguin. Did he say penguin? Come on, we'll take Jupiter. Get back! Stand back! I think we're okay. The ice is melting. Uh, uh, the water will put out the fire. It's an electrical fire, Mike. Water just makes it more dangerous. What are we going to do, Sam? Ellie, you turn off the power. Arnold, you blast the fire with foam. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. Sam. Uh, I'll get Norman. <laughs> Stay calm, Norman. I'm on my way. Ah, ah. Now look what you've done. Fireman Sam can't reach me. Ah. Norman, use your penguin to skate to me. I didn't mean what I said, Pangy. You really are a super penguin. Now get me out of here. Come on, Norman. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> now, Norman, this penguin is to help you to learn to skate. You're not meant to play ice hockey with it. Sorry, Sam. And certainly not when there's electrical equipment around. Yes, you knocked over my lights. Only because they weren't secure, Mike. You should have checked those stands properly. What? Oh, I'm sorry, Sam. <laughs> James, that really was froggy spectacular. <laughs> uh, it's not fair. How come James gets to be that big froggy star? Because James has been reading all about frogs and how they move, Norman. And he's practiced for ages dancing in those flippers. It's really hard. Uh, I could do it way better than James. Watch. <laughs> 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 Norman, just be happy to be a normal froggy like us. But I want to be the star of the show. People should be clapping for me. Me. Here we go, everyone. All right. First part of the drill, put out the fire with hoses. Roger that, Sam. That's you! Ah! 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 Craig Langton! Sorry, sir. Maybe you should help Tom with the second part of the drill, Elvis. He's going to pick up water from the sea in that carrier and dump it over the flames. Ooh, good idea, Sam. I like going up in the helicopter. Yes, and then you'd be uh, out of the way of uh, Fire Captain Steel. Uh, soaking wet again. Always happens when Crittlington's around. Can't wait to see the show, eh? Have you heard? James is the star. 
He's got the big finale. Oh, I bet it'll be spectacular. I'm feeling a bit nervous, Mandy. Don't worry, James. You'll be great. Definitely. You're our top froggy. <laughs> what was that, Norman? I, I, I should be the froggy star. I could easily dance in those flippers. No, you couldn't, Norman Price. But I could. There's only one star in this show, and it's James. And he's going to be amazing. <gasps> or maybe he isn't. star of the show. <laughs> That's the first fire out. I have to say it's a lot easier without Cridlington around. <laughs> Can I press the button yet, Tom? Not yet, Elvis. The water's ready to drop, but we've got to be in exactly the right place. Uh -oh. I'll tell you when. Let's go! I can't keep up. Time to call the fireman. Mrs. Chen is driving a bus full of children and it can't stop. Mrs. Chan is driving a bus full of children, and it can't stop. Penny, you and Elvis go in Phoenix. I'll take Mercury. Roger, Roger that, Sam. There. Now everyone in Ponty Pandy can come and get their healthy food. This way! No, this way! No, that way! No, that way! Tell me the odds. I want my mom! <laughs> I'm going to climb on now! Syrup, cinnamon, nutmeg, and wooden sticks? Ooh! Sam, you're making your famous candy apples? Yes, Dillis. Actually, I promised Elvis that I'd show him how to make them. Ooh, I'd love some of your candy apples, Sam. And me! I'd love a candy apple! Hello? Yes? Oh, it's Trevor. He's heard you're making candy apples and he wants some. Oh, and I'll have some too. Wow. Uh, yes, all right. Uh, I think I have enough ingredients. Uh, uh, Mom, uh, we had an idea! You know how it's getting really dark really early? Well, we want to have a spooky party. Tonight! Can we use the cafe? Please, please, please! Oh, all right. 
And I'm sure Uncle Sam will make you some candy apples. Uh... Great! Thanks, Uncle Sam. Oh, I better get party planning. Hey, wait, I'm party planning too. I made a list of party ideas. So far, I've got monster dancing. James, I planned this party ages ago. I'm going to lay out spooky snacks on the table and hang spooky streamers everywhere. There will be games like Pin the Tail and the Spooky Cat, and then I'm going to make a ghost to sit in the middle of the party. It's called a centerpiece. We were supposed to be planning this party together. Okay, if you want something to do... <sighs> you can make a bat decoration. Is that it? I'll show her. Dad! Have you got anything to make the biggest bat Ponty Panty has ever seen? Um, let me see. Black tarp, a fishing net, and rods. Will they do? Mm, perfect! See, Elvis? They're easy to make. Oh, Sam, they look delicious. Ooh, yummy, scrubby. Oh, <gasps> sorry, sir, but these are for the spooky party. We're making more later. You can have one then. Oh. Norman Price, what are you doing in Bessie's shed? It's all right, Norris. I'm here. Oh, uh, Gareth. <laughs> I didn't see you there. Well, as long as he's properly supervised. <laughs> Have you got anything like a plane engine or a high-powered rocket so the dragon can fly? Well, I've got this old luggage trolley. If it's on wheels, then it might look like it's flying. Hmm. What's all that stuff? That's all the fire lighting equipment we use to light a fire in the steam engine. Wouldn't it be really good at lighting fires in dragons, too? Oh, no. That would be far too dangerous, Norman. Hmm. Only if you don't know what you're doing. Oh, look! Green paint! Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, look, Jupiter! They're starting the smoke room training now. Now then, I'm off to rescue Dolly. Doing? You're supposed to be cleaning Jupiter, not your foot. I know, sir, but I finished cleaning Jupiter. <laughs> Can I join in the smoke room training now, sir? Hmm. Wait a minute. There's some soot on Jupiter's bumper and her headlights. There will be no smoke room training for you, Credlington, until Jupiter is clean, pristine, and gleaming. Hmm. <laughs> Don't worry, Jupiter. I'll get you some clean water. <laughs> Ooh, here comes the new dragon. You stay there, Gareth. As I'm king of the dragons, I just want to add some last minute touches. <laughs> Once the king of dragons has a fire breathing dragon, I will be the greatest king ever. Ah, behold. My dragon! Wow! It's amazing! It's great! It's on fire! What? Wow! Huh? Oh! And it's coming toward us! Oh! Uh, would you mind getting me a cup of tea? Huh? Two sugars. Uh, oh, well, of course. Hmm. Wow! 
What's happening? I want to see. Quiet, Norman. Has he found the treasure map yet? He's found something. <gasps> what is it? Shush, Norman! Don't shush me. Incredible! Oh! Quick! This is our chance to see what he found! Come on! Wait for me! I'm the treasure hunter. Huh? It's not the treasure map. It's just a boring old book. Maybe we don't need a map to find the treasure, Norman. This is Ponty Pandy Pete's logbook. Uh, I knew that. This riddle will lead thee to my treasure. <gasps> Follow, Follow the, the old man's gaze till you get, get to the rock. When you're at the end of the trail, X marks the spot. <gasps> That's all we have to do. Solve the easy peasy clue before that pokey nose professor does. And I'll, I mean, will <laughs> find the treasure. Is that <gasps> so? The pokey nosed professor has returned. And if there's any treasure finding to be done around here, I'll be the one finding it. Okay, Professor. Sorry, Professor. <laughs> Whatever you say. Uh, we'll see about that. The hunt is on. Follow the old man's gaze till you get to the rock. When you're at the end of the trail, X marks the spot. Follow the old man's gaze till you get to the rock. When you're at the end of the trail. So I think if we all hold things like this, we'll look more like volunteer firefighters. Good idea, Trevor. Oh, I get the hose. Actually, Mike, I think as I'm the chief volunteer firefighter, I should hold the hose. Actually, I'd like to hold the hose. Me too. Who says it's just the men that should hold the hose? No, I. it's mine. No, uh, let, let go. No, it's mine. Uh, put it it's down. Mine. It's mine. Okay, Trevor. Let's let go, Dillis. Good idea, Helen. <laughs> Perhaps I should have just gone to the beach today. Oh, oh no. I don't think I'm in Ponty Pandy anymore. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, Tom, don't panic. Be cool. Use your helicopter pilot training. Think. Uh, swim to shore. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I'll swim back to shore. But, uh, which way is the shore? Okay, now, no poses, no brave faces, nothing to hold. Just stand by Jupiter and be yourselves. All right, Sam. Looking great. Now don't move. Taking it in three, two, three door. Give me back my sausage. No, come on, give it back. Uh. Where's Tom? The dinghy's gone. Why would he take the dinghy out in this weather? The tides come in past where the boat was. Tom must have fallen asleep and floated out into the fog. Come on, kids. We need to call Fireman Sam. Tom is lost in the fog out at sea. Tom is lost in the fog out at sea. Sorry, volunteers. You'll have to take your own photo. Penny and Ben? Tom is lost. Get Neptune and Titan ready now. Roger that, Sam. Roger that, Sam. Elvis, you come with me. Okay, Sam.
going to be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Visibility will be limited. I'm working on my tan. Lucky you. We've got a boring lecture about woodland fire safety. <laughs> I hope this bus is air conditioned. Hi, Sam. Okay, everyone, ready to roll. Cridlington? Fire Department Chief Boyce? I... I what? what? Ah. Lounging about on a deck chair? Very undignified behavior for a firefighter. Arnold, do you have Miss Hosewater, the firefighter's daughter? And what's going on here? Just having a game of firefighters happy families, sir. Oh, uh, really? Well, where's Fire Captain Steele? He's in his office, sir. <gasps> Desist from licking that ice cream, Fire Captain Steele. But it's a very hot day, sir. Hot or not, firefighters should not be sprawled on deck chairs, playing silly games, or eating ice cream. They should be training and keeping fit. What they need is this, my new firefighter fitness training program. I call it Shape Up and Shine. Oh, very well. I'll get them started. Oh, no, 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 no. I shall be in charge of the training, and you will be joining in with the exercises. Me? Oh, but... No buts, Norse. Get your team together. We'll start immediately. Hmm. And these floppy shovels are used for beating out small ground fires. Like this. Oh, uh, uh, thank you, Trevor. Or like this. Uh, thank you, Trevor. And wildfires are very common in this hot weather. Any questions? Yes. Can we go for a row in that boat over there? Uh, not today, Norman. We're here to learn about fire safety. No. Now let's try 20 jumping jacks. What's up? Out of breath, old chap? With all due respect, sir, we really should warm up before we start exercising. Less talking and more action. And that's how glass bottles can cause serious fires. Right then, I think it's time for lunch. Now, you two, help Trevor get the picnic things from the bus. Aww, I'm too hot to get things. <laughs> Cradlington! Oh, that's me, sir. But you are uh, upstairs. <laughs> What did I say? There, one bouncy castle. Ooh, I'm pooped. Can we have a try now? Not yet, Norman. It still needs to be pegged down. Uh, how long will that take? Hold your horses, Norman. Oh, oh, my leg's gone to sleep. Well, can you wake it up and go get the pegs? Uh, please? Hey, okay, okay. But no bouncing while I'm away. It's not tied down yet. What are you doing? My dad said it wasn't ready. I'm just testing it. What's wrong? Scared he can't bounce as high as me. Of course I'm not, but... Come on then, Mandy. Prove it. All right. I will. <laughs> Woohoo! Sing my songs till I think I'll burst But I never forget that I'm a fireman first I love to rock and I love to swing But the thing I love best is when the fire bell rings A ding-a-ling, a ding-a-ling, -a -ling, just one more verse Everybody knows that I'm a fireman first Price 
are on an inflatable bouncy castle that's heading out to sea. Mandy Flood and Norman Price are on an inflatable bouncy castle that's heading out to sea. Castle heading north, northwest, Sam. Roger that, Ben. This is all your fault, Norman Price. We'll be fine, Mandy. This thing is full of air, so how can it sink? If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to 